Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mia Sin. Today I'm actually going to be reviewing something that just got announced literally uh, not too long ago. Well, I mean, at the time you're watching this video, it's, you're probably like a couple of hours late, technically. But this is actually huge news, as you can see from the cover of this article. Snake Rain is actually the star here, and the reason for that is because this is a reptile deck. And most of the time when we think of reptile, we think, oh, okay, just some more dead content, cards that'll never see play. Or, okay, this might actually be tier 0 because everybody knows how ridiculously unfair a card like Snake Rain is. You know, it says, discard one card and then you can send four reptile monsters from your deck to the graveyard. Imagine, uh, this card is a 3 foolish burial is at 1. <laughs> so, yeah, a card that gets uh, 4 or 5 cards in the graveyard in one shot. I'm kind of down, so if they have good grave effects, well, this deck might actually be the next meta, because you could play with one card. So, yeah, Null Dreg of the Abyss is the first one, level 4, Light Reptile Effect, whatever, level 4. Alright, I already have something extremely important here. Light Reptile is probably one of the best typings in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because of some extremely rare, I mean, not rare, uh, old trap cards. Haha, <laughs> I already spoiled it. They kind of just make this extremely broken, so I'm definitely going to try to come up with combos on this Reptile deck ASAP because this is extremely hot, so yeah. But anyways, Light Reptile actually seriously matters. It's not like it was a Fire Reptile or some garbage like that. Light Reptile matters. So you can only use the first and second effect once per turn. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, okay? Send one Dark Reptile monster from your deck to the grave. Alright, it just has another foolish effect. If you control no monsters or you control an Abyss monster, you can special summon this card from your graveyard, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can now special summon monsters while this card is special summoned by the effect, um, by its effect, by the effect is in monster, special summon, while well, this card is special summoned by this effect is in the monster zone, except for a type of monsters. Okay, yeah, sure, um, worst case, you can actually still play this in, like, monarchs, for example, and, yeah, you just play a bunch of this, it's just a free special summon, and I probably wouldn't bother, but still, it's it's not it's not too bad. But in the actual Abyss deck, this is huge news because it doesn't really matter if you're locked under reptiles while you control this. There are other plays that you can do if you want to get rid of this or something. Uh, well, again, I feel like I kind of spoiled it. Yes, I did actually read most of the cards before making this video. Not uh, this video, sorry, not all of them, but still most of them. And this is actually just a really good start. The fact that it actually benefits off of being sent from uh, Snake Rain is actually huge. So the second one is Nihil, Dreg of the Abyss. Uh, again, each effect once per turn. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Uh, send one Light Reptile Monster from your deck to the grave. Wait, this is the exact same thing. Oh no, this actually sent a dark. This is a dark, but this actually sends a light. And this is a light. So if this card is normal or special, again, huge. If you can revive this from the graveyard, that would be nice. Searches every single turn. You can add one Abyss Spell or Trap from your deck to the hand. That's, that's already... I don't know, that's actually... Kind of already good, and by the way, again, another important thing is that they have low attack, so I guess Elmirage targets, if that matters, if you want them in the grave fast. Uh, the third one, Phil, uh, Floji, Haze of the Abyss. Again, another light one. Oh, I, I think this is like a rotation. It's light, dark, light, dark. Okay, uh, if this card is sent from the hand to the, to the graveyard, or a special summon from the graveyard, <laughs> you can target one face of monster your opponent controls and one monster in their graveyard with an equal or higher attack. Special summon the target in the opponent's graveyard to their field, not yours. And if you do send the first target, the one that was on the field, to the graveyard. So... You're pretty much making them exchange a monster from their field to the graveyard, but at the same time, they're not really missing out on damage since it kind of... You kind of have to do this on a monster in the graveyard with high, equal or higher attack than the monster that you're targeting, so it's not... Uh, I don't know, it's a bit uh, situational, so yeah. And if this card is in your graveyard, you can send one card from your hand to the grave, add this card to your hand. Again, uh, this is really nice because Snake Rain just foolishes every single one of them. And even without Snake Rain, these guys actually all foolish too as their first effect. So, interesting that uh, we were already able to identify something, a mechanism in the deck. So, cards either have the effect so you can discard from the hand to foolish. Or, if they're in the graveyard, you can discard to recycle back. So, they actually work pretty well with each other. Uh, now let's move to the next one, which is a dark monster. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, or special summon from the grave, you can have your opponent draw one card. Mm-hmm. 
And if you do add one Abyss monster from your deck to your hand except himself, then each player sends one card from their hand to the grave. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Uh, are you trying to make this combo off with like Drool Reincarnation shenanigans or like Generator Boss Stage? Uh, I guess you kind of could. Or some other stuff. I, I don't know. Uh, if this card is in your graveyard, again, same effect. So, I, I mean, it's it searches for an Abyss monster. Uh, not Abyss actor, but Abyss monster. <laughs> the, those guys, but eh, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to read the other cards before uh, making any quick decisions. Now, this actually looks like one of the boss monsters, but it only has 400 attack. Again, pretty funny. You can only use the first and second effect once per turn. Each of this card is in your graveyard. Oh my god, I love this, uh, I love this, I love reading this. You can tribute one monster to special summon this card from your graveyard, again. Uh, then your opponent special summons, then your opponent can special summon one monster from their graveyard to their field, but its effects are negated. Alright, it's kind of like a Dinotherium in a way, but they don't have to have a monster in their graveyard for you to even be able to use this. So if you're going first, then this is a free summon that has pretty much just no drawback. Well, free summon. You do have to have it in your grave and tribute a monster, but you get the point. If this card is special summon, you can target one level 4 or lower abyss monster in your grave, special summon it, but banish it when it leaves the field. It doesn't negate the effect of the monster that you're bringing back. So, uh, can you already make connections in your head? Snake Rain is a one card combo, because you can send this, you can send um, the free special summon, so this, which is already the monster that will pretty much be the tribute, and then you can send like one of each of these, and they pretty much both have effects on special summon. No, sorry, only this guy has an effect on special so with just a snake rain, you get two monsters on the field and an abyss spell or trap from your uh, deck to your hand. Wow, that's kind of scary. And you still have another card in your grave, so... Yeah, again, this actually has the potential to be extremely good, and it's not even like you were locked under reptiles for the rest of the turn. So, yeah, this, this deck might actually be able to OTK out of nowhere. Again, it's just snake rain does all of that, so that's, that's the reason why I'm concerned. This is scary. Uh, a Lith, Dusk of the Abyss, so I, I think at this point you can already see how, you know, it's always following the light and dark rotation. 2000 attack and 800 defense, again, once per turn, once per turn. This card is in your grave, you can, again, same effect, you can tribute one monster special summon this card. Then your opponent can add one monster from their graveyard to their hand. Uh, I want to say this is actually kind of rougher, because if you're going first, then this might actually still help your opponent, because they can recycle back hand shops. So if you get ashed on Snake Rain, even if you have the ability to make this, it's kind of it's kind of shitty. They get back ash, whereas if they special summon ash, uh, you don't care. If they special summon Ghost Ogre, different story, but ash, uh, really don't care, so... Uh, this is not as good. If this card is special summoned, uh, you can target two of your banished monsters, including at least one reptile. Return them to the grave. Oh no, this doesn't even have a plus one effect. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, no, this this won't see any play. This this is objectively worse than uh, Curse Dawn of the Abyss. So no, 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 you're not going to be played. Aaron, uh, Aaron or Aaron, King of the Abyss, uh, twenty five and twenty eight. Whoa. Uh, if this card is in your graveyard, you can tribute two monsters, special summon this card. Hey, are we going to get uh, that Infernoid um, family kind of special summoning uh, thingy? You know, like there is the babies that banish one, and then there is the adults that banish two, and then there is the big boys that banish three. So uh, if, they, if we can actually see this here, it'd be interesting. <laughs> so yeah. If your opponent adds a card to the hand, except during the draw phase, again, you can force your opponent to search, so... Uh, really similar to generator in a way you can send one random card from their hand to the grave that's literally no that, that's basically copy paste from uh har generator boss of something yeah the, the 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 big boy that negates and has this effect so it's literally uh, control c control v if a monster your opponent control controls is sent to the graveyard by a card effect <laughs> you can add one light or dark reptile monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand except himself Ooh, that's uh that's pretty good. That's uh, that's a pretty good card. It, it would have been nice if it just said if a monster your opponent controls is sent to the graveyard. That would have been broken if they link summon or if you destroy over by battle. But hey, I mean, it, it, it would have been way too good, I think. Uh, eh, to be fair, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, this, is, this card is okay. The fact that you have to tribute two to make it makes both effects less good, honestly. It's not like this one that's actually just 
a free monster reborn and really only needs to tribute one monster and not even a reptile just tribute one monster you can mind control steal your po ah wait hold on you can not tribute over yeah i mean i can you even tribute over monsters stolen with mind control or uh can you just only you or you can tribute but like can't tribute summon i forgot anyways uh, Munizia, Queen of the Abyss, 2700 attack, interesting. Uh, blah, 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 same effect as the, uh, the as the other guy. If a monster is special summoned from your opponent's graveyard, you can send one card <laughs> they control to the graveyard. Oh my god, imagine this against Salamangrate. Spinny, Jaguar, boom, 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 send. If a monster is sent from your opponent's hand, deck, hand or deck to the graveyard, which will literally just always happen, you can special summon one light or dark reptile monster in your, from your graveyard except yourself. Ah, this is really starting to look extremely similar to the utility of the generator monsters. I'm not the only one who can see this, right? Because it's always like, you wait until your opponent does something and then you have like a revive back from the graveyard or like make your opponent lose one card from their hand or like send one card they control to the graveyard. I don't know. Yeah, and also the tribute special like thingy. I don't, it could be interesting to see if this deck could actually work with Generator or work with something else. Or just play it like a Pure with Snake Rain and stuff. I mean, either way you would be playing Snake Rain, but yeah. Alright, this might be the final one. And I swear to God, this is literally the Infernoids Summoning Conditions 2.0 over uh, again. And this also looks like an Infernoid. It's literally Deviati. This actually, I don't know, is, is there lore that I'm unaware of? They actually look so sick when you think about it. They barely look like... I know they actually do look kind of like reptiles. I don't know, man. Uh, it would be nice to see like Venom and Naga revamp in 2021. But yeah, if this card is in your graveyard, you can so this time you can tribute three monsters special summon it. So hopefully the effect is broken once, only once, while face up on the field. Quick effect. You can send all monsters on the field to the graveyard except face up monsters that were special summoned from the graveyard. Now, do you uh, do you see why this actually can be really good? Because you can revive it relatively easily. The, usually the effect of, uh, I mean, the cards that revive back from the graveyard, it's not even like they don't even negate anything. And then you can pretty much just have a kind of like a Zeus during your opponent's turn. So if this is easy to summon, obviously by its own summoning condition it isn't, but I can imagine that people will be playing three back to the front, three trap trick, a lot of trap cards, and we'll be playing this as a control build, because, you know, back to the front is such a good card when it's easy to get cards in the graveyard. Again, literally, you have so many foolishes in every... You have so many foolishes that I, I wouldn't even play the real foolish burial. It's, 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 like, it sucks at this point. <laughs> uh... And you can't play left arm offering because Snake Rain actually forces you to discard one card from the hand. So kind of sucks, but at the same time, left arm sucks. Anyways, it's it's pretty. It's you know it's not really good. Anyways, depths of depth the dead depths of the abyss field spell. You can only use the first and second. Every effect is like a hard once per turn. If a face up reptile monster you control is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, you can target one card your opponent controls, send it to the graveyard. This is not the first time I read this effect. Just the summoning, uh, this sorry, the requirement to use it is different. If this card is in your field, if this card in your field zone is destroyed by your opponent's card effect, so Cosmic Cyclone bypasses this, you can send cards from the top of your opponent's deck to the graveyard equal to the number of reptile monsters with different names in your graveyard. This effect obviously sucks. It can help your opponent. So the only situation in which this might actually be really good is like a 10, like turn 10 when your opponent is like running out of cards and when you were able to resolve Snake Rain like 20 billion times. But if you're... The thing is, realistically, this will never really send a lot of cards, so this is not the main effect. And besides, even this first effect isn't really good. It relies on your opponent kind of doing something, except if you can crash and then send a card. You, it's not. It doesn't suck, but it, it would have been nice if it actually searched on activation. Searched on activation. Imagine if the field spell searched Snake Rain. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, not really. Uh, that would have been broken. Emptiness of the Abyss. Oh my god, the artwork is insane! Good job, Konami, this is crazy. I'm actually intimidated by a reptile-based deck. That's a, that's completely new. I can't even think of the last time reptiles were respectable. They literally suck, but at the same time, they have so many overpowered good support cards. 
like King of the Feral Imps, the con like the trap card that actually just uh, does a lot of things. <laughs> that card, the VXC's monsters are ridiculous. Like Gorgonic Guardian, the Link monsters, the alien cards have some of the most insane effects in the game, but activating them is really hard. Uh, if they resolve, then you can steal monsters, you can negate and destroy cards or, or something like that. I forgot, but really good. Anyways, uh, uh, this time it's only you can only use this card's name first effect once per turn, so the second one is good. During uh, good to go. During the main phase, you contribute one reptile monster and then target one monster in your opponent's graveyard special summon it to your field thank you and you don't negate it <laughs> but send it to the graveyard during the end phase and this is also during the main phase so during your opponent's main phase during your main phase well, i like that and also it interrupts your opponent in a way so i can think of a lot of decks in which this could be really good like, this could be good against Dinosaur. You can revive back their Miscellaneous Aura so they can't banish it. You can revive back their Conductor Tyranno so you have a Book of Eclipse on their turn. Oof. You can even destroy the Conductor that was gonna die anyways. Or against Drytron. Yeah, I mean, you can interrupt their graveyard. This is just... This is really freaking good. This is this card's amazing. It is face-up card in the Spell and Trap Zone is sent to the graveyard. So even if you use a magic plant or whatever, like send one continuous trap, draw two, send all face up non reptile monster you control to the grave. Oh, never mind. I thought I was gonna read a, like a, a positive effect. No, this this actually sucks. Yeah, this is kind of like eternal soul hoop, you know. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's only you control. So invasion of the abyss, normal trap. You can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. Special summon two abyss tokens. A reptile le level two. Uh -huh. Whoa, uh -huh. weird, so you're gonna have to play Link Spider and not Link Rebo. Nah, kind of matters, honestly. It, it really does matter. If it was level 1, then Link Rebo is just a better card to play, but Link Spider... Eh. Uh, or, uh, sorry, if you, can ha if you have 8 or more Abyss monsters with different names in your grave, you can apply this effect instead. Special summon 2 Reptile monsters with different names from your grave. Oh, it's not gonna be... It's not gonna come up too much, and Scapegoat is still kind of better, but at the same time, the tokens that you summon are Reptiles, and the Reptile would actually allow you to kind of, you know, use this, or just a tribute, like, over all those guys, so, yeah. I mean, I, I think I would still play Scapegoat in this deck. I don't know if I would play this, but Scapegoat's just better. And, uh, yeah, well, Snake Rain, the legendary Reptile card, so that's all I had to say in showcase for this beautiful Snake... Oh my god, <laughs> Reptile new archetype, so if you guys have any comments or feedback or whatever, let me know in the comment section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe, because it motivates me a lot to keep making videos like these, and that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time, peace.